Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to connect data using Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services Data Connectors in Bold Reports. I will show you how to connect and retrieve data from a data source using the Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services Data Connector and how to integrate the retrieved data into a table. First, let me create a new report. Create a new report and name it SAS Data Report. To learn how to create your first report, check the link given in this video's description. Now, create a data source using the Microsoft SAS Data Connector. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. And click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the Microsoft SQL Analysis Services connection type. In the name field, I enter the data source name, customer details. Then, I enter the server name field value. The authentication type field is used to authenticate the SQL server. If the data source supports authentication directly through Windows credentials, choose Windows. If your data source requires username and password to authenticate, choose SQL Server. I choose SQL Server. The fields to enter the username and password are displayed. And I enter them. I enable the Save Password option to embed the credentials within the report, when saving it in the report server. While downloading the report, credentials will not be saved with the report data. I click the drop-down icon in the database field. And select the AdventureWorks internal sales database from the list. To connect the data source with a connection string, click Advanced Options. The Name field, Authentication Type, Username, Password field, and Save Password options are auto-filled from the basic options. Enter the connection string in the appropriate field. Here, see the connection string value filled from the basic pane. Connection strings are text representations of connection properties, for a data provider. Additionally, in the Advanced Option pane, there are two more authentication types. The Prompt Authentication type shows a prompt that allows the user to enter the prompt text, username, and password while previewing. The None Authentication type is used, when the authentication details are provided in the connection string. Next, connect to the database and create a dataset. In the Basic Option pane, I click the Connect button. The Query Designer page will open. It contains a Query Designer surface, Toolbar, and Preview area. The Query Designer surface is where queries are set up. It contains text-based modes to create SQL queries easily. The Microsoft SAS data source supports only the query mode. I change the name field value to Customer Dataset. I enter the query to retrieve customer details from the database. I click the Run icon in the toolbar. The preview of the customer table will be displayed. Click the Finish button. And a data set will be created. When expanding the data set, you will see the fields present in it. Finally, let me add a table and assign values to it. Drag a table from the item panel to the design area. Add the necessary columns. Assign values to the header row. And format them. Assign values to the data row. And format them. Click the Preview button in the top panel. You will see the values retrieved from the database, and displayed in the table. In this video, I have shown you how to create a data source using the Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services, and how to add the retrieved data to a table report item in bold reports. 
Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.